that's not a cop. That's not. Woo, cop right there. <laughs> Maybe not. I don't know, they all look the same. They all drive those Ford Explorers and it sketches me out every time I see one. What's going on guys? Welcome back for another Moto Vlog. It feels, well, let's just put it this way. It feels very weird to be back on the Triumph Daytona. Um, I haven't like actually ridden my motorcycle in probably, I'm gonna say like eight months. Done like a proper ride on it. I've ridden it around the block, you know, a handful of times over the last six to eight months, but I have not gone out for a ride, nor have I made a moto vlog on this motorcycle for a very long time. Today's video is honestly gonna be bittersweet because it is the first ride of the season and it's probably gonna be the last ride of the season on the Triumph Daytona. I am gonna be listing the bike up for sale uh, very soon, probably within a month or so. It's, it's the perfect time to sell a motorcycle as far as uh, getting the best price for the bike. I mean, it's definitely bittersweet for me. I've had, uh, you know, countless amazing memories on this bike. Um, I've had a great time riding it out in the hills. As you guys obviously can tell by, you know, uh, the content that gets uploaded on the channel, I just don't ride this motorcycle. I don't give it the attention it deserves, like I've said in past videos. And uh, it's it's probably just time, well, all of that tells me it's, it's time to let it go. But that being said, I'm gonna try to extract the most fun I can out of this bike today. Um, I wanna go do some, uh, I guess, I don't know, uh, let's call them some speed runs, I don't know, some pulls, let's say in that, because uh, out here, I guess you guys know I'm on the east side of this state. <laughs> Sorry, I'm filming a video. I wasn't talking to you. You too. Ah, the awkwardness was like at peak level. Like 10 out of 10 awkwardness. I was just talking to myself and she could obviously hear me. She looked over and she's like, uh, what? And then I said something to her again and she was like, oh, I'm just gonna look forward. But uh, yeah. <laughs> uh. Moto vlogging never gets old. It honestly doesn't, especially when you pull up to somebody with their window down and they hear you talking. It's just, it's, it's entertainment for all. Where were we? We were talking about extracting the most fun out of the bike today. Yeah, we're gonna go do some uh, pulls, I guess you can say. And on the east side of the state, you know, another thing, let me just touch on it quick. Uh, one thing I'll miss about riding a motorcycle is getting waves from everybody you know like the motorcycle community is a great community everyone waves at each other uh even the harley riders uh believe it or not they're typically nice guys as well <clears throat> riding the quads you don't really get that as much uh because you know it's not a motorcycle it's it's a different type of vehicle you're not really you're not really in that motorcycle community per se it's just kind of yeah i don't know you're you're out by yourself no one really rides quads which is why uh, I guess I think it's more fun because it's unique. I'm not like big into bicycles or anything, but one of these bikes in front of you would be pretty sick to have, especially if you lived, you know, somewhere where there's trails. Like, that would seem like a lot of fun. I'm getting so sidetracked. Um, anyways, I was talking about how I live on the east side of the state, and uh, it's not the same as living out in Rapid City. Oh, shh. Um, it's not the same as living out. Uh, in the west side of the state by like Rapid City and everything like that, there actually are quite a few cops like on this side and they care about speeding. <laughs> like when I was in Rapid, uh, I definitely uh, broke a lot of laws, especially like riding out in the hills. The speed limits were like 45, 35 everywhere. And me and I guess my buddy, we used to ride together too. I mean, we'd regular regularly do like 70, 75, 80, I mean, just like casually. Uh, those aren't those weren't even the times we were trying to go fast. So living in an area where there's more cops and you know they actually pull you over for speeding and stuff like that, uh, it kind of sucks, especially when you have a fast motorcycle. Grom Squad, baby, let's go. Okay, no wave, whatever, dude. But honestly, uh, the people, mother. She definitely didn't see me. Ah, I think my fan's on. That's probably the first time in like a year the fan on the Daytona has turned on. 
All right, so let's go head out and do some pulls on the Triumph Daytona. I haven't done a pull on this bike in a long time. Well, there's a cop right there. There's a daily 100. <laughs> oh, that's, all right, I'll definitely miss that. So I know a lot of you haven't seen the older videos that I have on the channel of me riding this bike through the hills. So I do want to throw up a quick few, like maybe five second clips, 10 second clips of me riding the bike through the hills. The scenery, the scenery is absolutely amazing there. The best view is at the top of these rocks up here. And you can actually see Mount Rushmore. And right off over there, hopefully you guys can see it on the camera, but that's Mount Rushmore over there. This one up here kind of looks a little, uh, a little questionable. I don't know if he's mad. What you doing? Holy crap, bud. And here we are back at Mount Rushmore. And it looks like, uh, looks like we got a, a bigger group of uh, these little mountain goats, whatever the heck they're called. So as you guys can see, oh god, so as you guys can see, I had some amazing times out there and the scenery is absolutely beautiful. Um, I want to share you guys, share with you guys a story. I actually crashed this bike out in the hills two, pretty sure it was like two weeks after I bought the bike. Unfortunately, I don't have any video of the crash. Uh, unfortunately, it was, honest to God, it was the only time I was not wearing my GoPro. I always wear my GoPro whenever I ride. For some reason this day, I chose not to wear it. And of course, of course, I crash. But let's start out with the story. So me and my friend were out riding the hills and we were having a great time. We were coming back. So we had probably ridden all probably like 80 miles already so you know i was used to the bike it was warmed up tires were warm you know we were just having a good ride so me and my friend decided to stop and take a break for a little bit uh so we did that and then uh we started going again i realized my pocket was open that my phone was in so i looked down to uh you know zip my pocket up it wouldn't zip up so i had to slow way down zip up my pocket just to make sure you know i didn't lose my phone or nothing like that and by doing that, I fell like behind my friend. And I'm sure he didn't really notice because his bike's, you know, louder than mine. So naturally, I wanted to catch up to my friend. Well, in doing so, uh, I was going way too fast around all the corners. Bear in mind, I didn't know the roads. I'd only been riding for two weeks out there. So I didn't know the roads real well. And I'm going up this hill, this slight incline. Uh, these are like really twisty roads, by the way. Out in the hills, you know, there's well, there's hills everywhere. So the roads twist and turn um, in between all the valleys of the hills and everything like that. But I was going up this slight incline and all of the sudden, I was going 60 miles an hour. I uh, just wanted to preface that, 60 miles an hour-ish. And all of a sudden, the road turns left. And I mean, the road turns left. Like there is no chance I'm making this turn. I just shoot straight off the road like into a ditch and I ride the bike out into the hill into the field luckily there was no rocks but I flew me and the bike out into this field probably like a hundred feet probably like I don't know it's hard to judge um, but it was way out in this field I rode the bike out there and then I couldn't hold it up and it dumped while it was going probably I don't know 20 miles an hour or something like that as far as injuries go i'll talk about that right now honestly i came out pretty unscathed unscathed uh besides i was real sore like my neck was real sore oh god my neck was real sore for like um a couple days sorry there's so many bumps and as far as damage to the bike pretty much the only thing that happened to the motorcycle was my shifter got bent i'm gonna pull over to this parking lot and kind of show you guys the bike uh, a lot of you probably haven't seen it for a long time and I'll show you guys the damage that happened to the motorcycle as well. 
And I need to change the GoPro battery, I'm pretty sure. What are you doing? Get back in there. I'll just tell you guys a little secret right now. The bike was actually red. Um, and a previous owner powder coated it black, which I definitely like the black more. But powder coat is getting old, as you guys can see. Um, it's chipping in a few places. It's also chipping back by the seat right here, which is kind of the, I don't know, I guess you'll call it the worst part. But, um, you know, they, they did a decent job. But after a while, powder coat just kind of flakes off. So I guess the damage on the motorcycle, so I don't know if you guys can see this very well, but um, the tank is scuffed right here. It's not scuffed all the way down to metal, which is good. So there's definitely a layer of paint left, so that won't rust. Um, it's been like that, you know, for two years, so um, that's okay. Of course, there's some scratches along the side here you can't really see. Right here and right here, there's some, um, you know, scuffs from the slide that me and the bike took as well as the cover down here got uh scraped as well oh shit that's hot of course it's hot um the cover got scraped but i painted that so that's okay okay but besides that and the shifter being bent which it's still a little bent but can't really tell nothing terrible all right well that is the story of how i crashed my 2007 triumph daytona two weeks after i bought it i hope you guys enjoyed the story cool feature about the Daytona in 2007 they actually had a pretty like snazzy dash uh, this thing has all sorts of features on it and there's features that I haven't even uh, used thank you buddy for waiting let's see that is average mile per hour I don't know how I have an average mile per hour 36 but anyways it also has a top speed so I don't know if you guys saw that yet but I'll show it to you now this bike has had a top speed of 151 miles an hour. I won't say who did that, but uh, it wasn't the previous owner. I'll tell you that much. All right. guys i think this is where i'm gonna wrap today's video up i really hope you guys enjoyed this one i know a lot of you are probably well some of you are probably going to be sad to see the daytona go i'm definitely going to be a little sad as well had a lot of good times on this motorcycle but i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button below and i will see you guys next saturday